Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I pray that you all live long and happy lives. Please like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also request you to watch this video till the end to support me. Now, let's dive into today's information. Now, let's talk about the fascinating history and current situation of the Iraqi dinar, particularly focusing on its value, which once stood at a remarkable $3.22. When Saddam Hussein was in power, the dinar was valued at $3.22 against the U.S. dollar. This high valuation wasn't just random, it was closely tied to Iraq's vast oil reserves. Oil was the backbone of Iraq's economy, and the dinar's value reflected this wealth. The country's financial strength during that time was almost entirely dependent on its oil revenues. When oil prices were high, Iraq thrived, and so did the dinar. However, when oil prices dropped, both the economy and the dinar took a hit. Fast forward to today, and Iraq is a different country. After significant political, social, and economic changes, the dinar's value is no longer what it used to be. One of the most critical changes in Iraq has been the effort to diversify its economy. While oil remains a significant player, Iraq is working hard to develop other sectors. This diversification is crucial because it helps protect Iraq from the unpredictable nature of the global oil market. Recently, there's been a lot of discussion among dinar enthusiasts and experts, particularly around the question, from $3.22 to what? The Iraqi government, along with international experts, has had ample time to conduct research and analysis to determine what a fair and sustainable value for the dinar should be today. This process isn't about trying to return to the $3.22 value of the past. Instead, it's about understanding the current market conditions and determining a new value that reflects the realities of today's global economy. The appraisal process that many are talking about is not just about setting a new value for the dinar, it's about building trust and transparency in the global market. Both local and international investors need to have confidence that the Iraqi dinar is supported by a robust and diversified economy. This trust is essential for the dinar to gain and maintain value on the world stage. A key part of this process is finding the right balance between Iraq's oil revenues and its growing non-oil sectors. The global economy is much more interconnected now than it was in the past, and Iraq needs to position itself as a strong competitor, not just in oil, but in other industries as well. By diversifying its economy, Iraq can create a more stable foundation for the dinar's value, making it less vulnerable to the wild swings in oil prices. As we move forward, it's essential to stay informed about these developments. The question from $3.22 to what? is not just about numbers, it's about understanding the broader economic shifts that are taking place in Iraq. Whether you're a curious observer or someone looking to make sense of the economic landscape, this topic is relevant to all of us. In conclusion, the journey from $3.22 to whatever comes next is a complex one involving not just Iraq's oil revenues, but also the country's efforts to diversify its economy. By paying attention to these developments, we can better understand the future of the Iraqi dinar and what it might mean for all of us. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with someone who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates on economic trends and insights. Until next time, keep learning and engaging with the world around you.